Bob Gross, head man for the Griswold Girls with us here as they pick up a big win over Riverside, lopsided victory for your group. What was the big difference in the game? Well, I think our focus was good tonight. Uh, I was concerned uh, going into the game because our practice last night was not the way I wanted it to be. We didn't show much intensity, uh, much focus, so I sent the girls home early. So wasn't really sure what I was going to get tonight, but they came out tonight really focused. Uh, thought defensively we played pretty well, uh, rebounded the ball pretty well. We actually got the ball out in transition and made some uh, some easy fast break baskets, which we haven't been doing in the past. It's, told them here after the game that that's a, a step in the right direction. We need to continue to look at that. And uh, offensively, we were patient and kind of got the shots that we wanted. What was it you were looking for against their zone? Against their zone? Mm -hmm. Just to uh, take the middle away from them. And uh, oh, uh, offensively for us, you mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, we were looking to get the ball into the middle, but we had to be patient to uh, and move the ball quickly against their zone to create a few gaps. And with our post people, I thought the post people did a good job of, of cutting and posting up. And uh, we went to a double high post set and got some easy baskets off of that. So, yeah, just to penetrate that, that zone, we uh, penetrated, uh, guards penetrated a few times that led some open baskets. So, yeah, just to not be content with passing the ball around the outside all night long, you know, to really explore that middle. Defensively, their statistics, I mean, as far as what you want to do on defense, they're a better statistically three-point shooting team than they are overall field goal percentage. So was that kind of strange to well, game plan for? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, we, the Gleaves girl, uh, I think when we played them at, at Riverside or at Oakland, had three or four three-pointers. So we told them that she's a shooter, you know, and we needed to recognize where she was at and try to limit her shots out there. And I, I think she got... Uh, maybe two or three. We didn't necessarily do the best job at that, but uh, the rest of the defense was pretty solid, I thought. One of the things defensively that stood out to <coughs> us was Peyton Rush getting a lot of steals. She was seemingly in the passing lane before anybody else knew her. Right. Head. She was she was anticipating really well tonight, the passes. Uh, once in a while when she, she does that, she gets herself in trouble. She doesn't leave enough room uh, and ends up going through the player rather than in front of the player. But she did a lot better job of, of uh, not going through a player tonight and uh, picked up you know uh, a lot of steals, which really helped us. You know, uh, Every time you can steal the ball, it just gives you another offensive uh, possession and, and a chance to put points on the board. How big was this win just in the sense that you ended a four-game skid and get back in that win column? Well, every every win is, is big, uh, but yeah, especially to end a losing streak. Uh, and we're coming down the latter part of the season here. We want to you know really focus and get some things sharpened, or sharper than they have been in the past. Uh, that's why I was worried about practice last night and playing the game tonight. Uh, but they came out tonight and executed the game plan pretty well. So, yeah, the, the win was really good. Uh, gives us the right foot to go forward on. Maybe I shouldn't ask, but do you send teams home from practice very often? No, not really. Not really. I was, uh, I told the girls I was less than happy last night, you know, and, and uh, they they knew that I was upset and why, you know. And, and uh, you know, you just hate to waste a practice, and I thought last night's practice was a wasted practice. So that's why they got sent home, and, and uh, you know, I told them, think about what they want to do. I said, just because we beat Riverside the last time, there's no guarantee you'll beat them uh, the next time. That's true with any team. So you have to focus on what you're doing. And that comes, you know, focus and practice. You know, you'll, you'll play in a game as you practice. So uh, fortunately tonight we played better than we did practice last night. But usually that's not a problem for us as far as focus, but it was last night. Thanks for your time, Coach. Congrats you bet. on the win.